Hi guys! Welcome back. Hope y'all had a very Merry Christmas. Um, finally, I'm doing my deer mold with the horns. And yeah, my table's not even, so you see my little sticks and my tape and stuff. I'm going to get it even one day. Actually, this side of my desk is even. This is not, and I'm, I don't know. It's, I don't know. But anyway, I'm using some pink camo. Um, Zappawa's glitter. Let me see if I can get that in there. Pink camo. See all the green and the pink. What? And the black. I thought that would be pretty. And I'm not going to fill the mold up. I'm just going to do around the edges with the pink camo. And then go back with the background this um, magenta color shift mica powder I thought that would be pretty it would set that glitter off I think I'm not gonna fill the horns up what I'm gonna do is the tray first I'm gonna move it over here to the side and then I'll put the um, horns in frame got my resin mixed up got my gloves on and one second, I'm going to make y'all a little drunk. Sorry. Sorry, guys. And, always use your mask when you're mixing resin. <clears throat> Go by the, um, the precautions on your resin. I'm using SRC Specialty Resin. And it's one-to-one, -one, 40 minutes working time. So, yeah, let's go. And I mixed up four ounces. Oh, well, a little over four ounces of resin. And I'm hoping that's enough just to do half in this pink camo. And then when it sets, I can come back and do the magenta background. What y'all think? I think it's going to be pretty. All right, let's see what we got. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm going to put it in a cup. And, um, well, snap. Uh, I cannot find nothing. Where are my spoons? All the budgie. Okay, I found one. Let me see if I can just get some of it out and see if y'all can see all those colors. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty, huh? So I'm just going to put some in my resin here in this cup. Oh, God, y'all can't see. Okay, there we go. That's one spoonful. I'm going to put two and a half. And that's probably too much. But, hey, maybe it's not. You never know. Then I'm just going to give it a easy stir easy because I don't want it to come flying out of there please don't don't you come flying out please don't I don't know why chunky glitter sticks to the side of your cup but it does okay I think I've got it look at that it's transparent but I did put a good bit of glitter in here. Alright, so we're going to do the tray. And then I'm going to move the tray out of the way. And bring the horns in. Make sure they're good and even by you. Alrighty, I guess if I'm high, oh, I ain't going to be able to be in this cup. Jeez, please. I'm just going to pour it in this one. And, um. That might be enough. I may have too much. Good Lord to be. Look at. Oh! I just cleaned the mold. What in the crap? Where did you come from? Get! Get! And I've got a video coming up. Um, I've been asked to do a video on how to prepare flowers in art artificial flowers and resin. I've got a video on 
that I made already, but I'm going to do another one since I was asked, and I sure will. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting them in resin and showing y'all or just showing you how to prepare it. I hadn't made up my mind. Probably will be um, putting it in resin. Let me know down below. Do you want me to just show you how to prepare the artificial flowers or do you want me to um, put it in resin for you? Comment down below what you want me to do. Look at that. Crappity. I'll get it off. I'm not going to do the top anyway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. With the sides. Okay. I'm a dripper. Oh, I am a dripper, honey. I will drip. I'll get resin where it ain't even supposed to be going. But if I get it on the top, I can just wipe it off. No biggie. But I just want to do this. Fill these, um, the sides up. Look at that. Get off. And, um, let that uh, cure. And then I'm going to come back over the top with, uh, the magenta color. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I was going to dribble. And what's cool about this mold, guys, is the horns fit right in there. Y'all see that? Hold on. i got to concentrate. Okay. The horns slide down in here. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm going to get these edges all the way to the rim because it's got to go in the middle. It's nowhere near full, G. Maybe four ounces was enough. I just, I'm going to let it flow in the middle by itself. I'm hoping it does. And in there. Let me get a good bit in there. Maybe it'll go in that um, little indention. Yeah, I'm going to need some more. Let me start up. Make sure my glitter is still good. Okay. Pour some more in my handy dandy cup. Um, I really don't want to go in that crack. Ah! I guess I will. Crap. I'm just going to pour it. Like in the on the edge. Oh, it's flowing in there. I was hoping I didn't get it too thick with the glitter. Get in there, honey. Flow, baby. Flow. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. Oh. I can just wipe off the top, I suppose. It's flowing good, too. Just want to get your cracks full. That's all I want to do. Get my cracks. Take a little bit more, just just a little bit. So I guess I did mix up enough, and then I'm gonna fill the horns halfway, and um, and then the background is gonna be magenta. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good, guys. It looks like it's okay. Um, I'll put a little more right in there. Okay. Now, I'm 
going to take a skewer. Go very carefully. I'm just going to poke through there. Just poke through. Make sure it's in these corners. No bubbles. No bubbles. We don't want any bubbles. Please get in the corner. Okay, now I want to go up in here and make really sure. I'm going to pull that out and let it um, go up in there. Okay. Let it settle back down. I think this end is probably going to need a little more. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, no, maybe not. I think it's good. I think it's good. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to spray it with some Esopro alcohol. It's supposed to pop your bubbles. So I'm just going to spray it. Oh yeah, I see it doing that little movement. And then I'm going to set it aside. Maybe that's not a good idea, but I'm going to do it. So, just going to ease it up. And that mold is sturdy. That's a sturdy mold. Yay. Kind of went over on my top, so let me get that off. Okay, let's do the horns. Do these horns. i got to make sure... They are even. I had it. I don't know. Might have to go here. Maybe. Let me move these six. And get the other one. I'm going to try it just a little. And. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to bring you down, I guess. That's weird. Is that not weird? Huh. Hold on a sec. Uh oh. What did I do? I don't know. I'm trying to. Uh oh. He's going in. We want to go out. There we go. Go out. There. Huh. Cameras just make me mad. Okay. Well, crap. Can't you see? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I try to be, like, really prepared. And Oh, it's hot in here. I'm going to turn it. Hold on. Woo! I'm going to turn the heat off. Okay, so, um, get my little handy-dandy thing here. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be like right under here, I think. I think. Oh, no. Not. Okay, so let's go down. Nope. Is that not crazy? Where do you go then? Wow. Right there. That's weird. Alrighty, babes, let's fill this up. And I'm not going to fill it all the way either. I'm just going to put the pink glitter and just uh, halfway. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm hoping. That it don't. That it don't, um, oh, overflowed. Oh, I think I'm filling it up, huh? Well, shoot. Maybe not, maybe so. I don't know. If I am, just down. Just 
get these horns. Okay. All right, that's halfway. So what I'm not understanding is, here's my, is why this is half full, these are full. I think I know because my table is not level. Doggone. It's not level. Make sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I overfilled. Oh well. I'm thinking I might can get um you know what? I don't want to mess it up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill. Do it until it's full. Okay, let's get this one. And I'm gonna pour it in and just go with it. Go with it. Go with it. Go, baby. I'm loving this pink camo glitter. That is so freaking pretty. Oh, it is so pretty. I can't wait till it gets done. So I can see. Wow. I guess I did make up enough. Still gonna have a little bit left, so. That looks kind of crooked, don't it? I don't know. It looks kind of sideways. Hmm. Kind of does. I'm kind of nervous. I'm scared it's not going to fit in the tray. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay. Fill up, sweet baby. Yeah, that one's fuller than this one. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is Okay. Now, this needs something. It's like, um, I don't know. Maybe I can prop it up. Because it's leaning. There's something there. It's leaning. Oh, no. This one's kind of leaning too. Crap. I want to do this because I want to make sure I don't have any. Um, this one is like really full. So I'm just going to scrape off. Because this right here has got to fit. Okay, guys, that's that. I'm going to have to prop it. I don't understand what's going on. It's like crooked. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I might better just leave it alone. Hey, who knows? Who knows? All right, I will be back. When everything gets set, and um, we'll put the pink shifting powder on top of the um, tray. So, I'll see y'all guys in a mm -mm, couple hours, four maybe. We'll see. Alright, bye. Hi guys. I'm back. Everything's hard. 
So, what I'm going to do is mix my resin, get my mask and my gloves. Um, had to leave it overnight. I don't know if the, the glitter kept it. Maybe I put too much glitter. I don't know. Kept it from getting um, hard, but it's hard now. So, my tray is ready for the second coat. And what I'm going to do with this, I can see I didn't fill it. And I want to put the, um, I want to put this, um, Color Shift Magenta as the background of this and the tray. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is use UV Resin. And... Fill it with that. I think. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, I'll think about it while I'm mixing my resin. I will be right back. Okay. Got my gloves. Got my resin mixed up. So now it's like cold in here. So I had to. Um, use my heat gun while I was stirring. I just turned it on and did this. And I could just feel it getting thinner and thinner and thinner. So yeah, just don't get it too close because your cup might, um, it might melt. But it's warm and just wanted to let it sit there for a few minutes and see if the bubbles will come to the top. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Let me get a little piece of tape because I see some something right there. <sighs> I don't know where that crap comes from. I'm going to have to take my gloves off for a minute. Just for a minute. Until I get this out. Because my tape is sticking to my gloves. Oh, wonderful. I'll pick that up later. It's just a little bit in there. Just a little. Not much. Okay. I think it's good. All good. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get that. Yay. Okay. Back with the gloves. And remember to comment down below if you want me. My next video is going to be how to prepare artificial flowers and resin. I already have a video on there, but I've had some requests to do another. So I'm going to do another one. And just let me know if um, you want me to just prepare the artificial flowers or put it in resin. I'll do both. Whatever y'all want me to do, I'll do it. Any questions you have, feel free to ask me no matter what they are or how because um, sometimes when you have questions and you look it up online and online don't describe you know it don't sometimes it don't give you a good description of what something is and how to use it you know so that's what I'm here for let me know whatever it is you want to know no matter how simple you think it is, just ask. And I will answer you, sweet babies. All right. Now, my bubbles has come up a little to the top. So, I'm going to do the tray first and then um, do the horns. I can't wait to unmold this. I'm so excited about it. Okay. So, using the Nodway Magenta Color Shift. I'm hoping I'm using the right thing. It's pretty. 
So, you know, maybe to give it a little bling. I don't know. We shall see. So, let me put this right here. Okay. And I'm just going to do a the end. I think I'm going to do two and then see what it looks like. See what it looks like. I'm going to leave that in there just in case I need some more. Get it all stood up. Um, get it off the sides, off my stick. I love these silicone star sticks. I just, I love them. They don't create so many bubbles. Still have some bubbles, but not as many as when you use a popsicle stick. And, um, all right, let's see. Oh, pretty. Okay. I know it's not going to take much for those horns. And I've decided just to go ahead and maybe use a pipette and put it in my uh, horns. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be good. I hope. Alrighty, let's just pour her in. Pour her in. I want to save a little for my horns. Come on. I don't know, I may have to make it up a little more for my horns. It's spreading out though. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't need any more. I know it's not gonna take much for those horns. Oh no. I think I'm gonna have to have some more. It's not full. Trying to save. It's spreading good. Spreading good. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's going to be a thick tray, huh? Maybe not, because it's going to have a, um, the trays in the middle. So Maybe not. I don't know. I just want to get it. Um, I think I'm going to have to mix up some more for my uh, horns. Ah! Yeah, crappity, crappity crap. Now let's just pour it in. Pour it in. It is what it is. Because I want it up to the... Um, Edge, I guess. This mold holds a good bit of resin. This was four ounces that I mixed up. Four ounces. Yeah. I think it's good. And I'm going to mix up some more and uh, come back and do the horns. So, I don't know. Do y'all think I should leave the horns? <sighs> the pink glitter? Ah, oh, crap. Decisions, decisions. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Come on. Let me put this up before I spill it. Because I'm clumsy now. I'm a clumsy one. Okay. Sit you right there for a minute. Alright, let's blow. Blow. Okay. That's 
that, I'm going to blow it again um, when I get the rest of my resin mixed up. So, I'll be back. Okay, got my resin mixed up. And I mixed up a little more than, way more than I needed for this because um, I noticed my tray is not all the way up to the top. So, I'm just going to um, fill it up. One, two. Okay, done with that. Now let's get her going here. And I think I've decided to use a pipette. Um, I was gonna just take a little, I have these little cups. like this and I was going to use that but I'm scared I might pour out more than I need you know so I'm just going to pep head it in there I think but sometimes that comes out oh lord what do I do what do I use what do I do and I'm heavy handed, you know. I may just take this and like string it. What do y'all, I don't know, jeez. I don't know. I don't know. Lolly B, I don't know, Lolly B. Lolly B. Okay, so. Um, crap. Alright, I'm just going to drip it until, um, don't want to overflow. Oh my god, this is not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. Oh, I knew better. I knew better. But I didn't want this to get too full because it wouldn't fit down in the, um, I'm just going to have a mess, honey. Yeah, that's me. Make a mess, Wanda. Make a mess. Just go ahead. Go ahead, girl. Just go ahead and make a mess. So I'm just gonna put this in. Um, like so. Then I'm gonna have to wipe off my mold. I'm gonna make sure I get those tips. For sure. back on how to prepare flour. Um, I think I'm going to do a cow painting. I did a couple and actually the first one oh god I've never painted a cow. I painted a rooster and it came out cute. I'll show y'all at the end of the video. But the cow, that first cow took me two weeks to paint. Oh. And then I had the same lady wanted another cow. And you know what? Didn't take me no time to do that one. No time at all. Ah, I painted three because I did one for my mom for Christmas. So, yeah. Anywho, I'm making a mess as y'all see. Oh, well. Here's what it is, honey. It is what it is. 
you learn. You learn. So, here we go. We don't want this overflowed. I do know that much, so we're just going to push it. through here and if it if it don't come out right if it don't fit in the um, tray hey I'll take it out and do it again not giving up I'm not gonna do it I've made a lot of mistakes <laughs> with this resin honey trying stuff and but anyway doesn't matter it doesn't matter that's how you learn huh yeah that's how you learn by making mistakes you know, not to do it again. So, I just want to make sure those tips are full because I had like an air bubble in one of them. So, just want to fill it in with this. Fill it in. Fill in them tips. Okay. Well, um, I haven't reached a hundred subscribers yet. I've got eighty six. I'm so happy. I'm happy about that. Once I hit a hundred, I'm gonna do a live giveaway on the people who commented on my videos. I'm going to put their all their names in a pot and um, go live and pick their name and either they will win a painting, a resin piece, a craft I've done, or something else. Lord, I just went blank blank. Do y'all do that? Crap, I've been going blank. A painting, resin piece, craft, or jewelry. Wow. Okay, I think that's that. I think I've got all the all the tips. Oh, I hope that's right, guys. I'm really hoping it is. hope it fits in my tray. Who knows? I don't know. I think this has got a little bit too much. So I'm going to take just a little. I'm just going to go across the thing. Yeah. That's. Uh, that one's kind of okay. Alright. So that's that. I'm going to pour the rest of this in my tray here. In my tray. Make sure it's full. Heat it up and uh, I think it's setting already. Good Lord Jesus. It hasn't been that long. I think. Alright, guys, and when we come back, we will be demolding and praying it fits in that tray. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all guys in a little while. Hi, guys. I'm back. Everything's all hard and cured. So, it's time to demold and pray these antlers fit in this tray. to do first. It's cold in here. I got one glove on. Ha. All right. I think let's 
do the let's do the tray first. Let's do the tray. Do the tray. This is the best part, huh? Unmolding. Unmolding. Here we go. Oh snap. Oh snap. Here we go. Pop it out of those holes. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll try to hold it so y'all can see when I see. <gasps> Is that not pretty? Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at the edges. Oh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now here comes the scary part because I don't want to break anything. So I'm just going to go easy here. Oh, wow. That is unmolding like really good look at that omg this is gonna be cute look at the antler oh my goodness that's the back it's just the pink remember needs a little trimming where i overflowed but no biggie no biggie okay Come on, baby. Now come out as easy as that one did, please. Get that tape off. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's just popping out, y'all. Wow. I love that mold. I am loving it. Look at that. Pink camouflage. And then just pink on the back. Okay, true test. We're going to see if it's going to fit in this hole here. Ah, we got a teddy. I did a teddy bear. Pink camouflage. Yeah, let's see if we can get this out. All right, I may have to struggle with this thing. Oh, well, maybe not. Wow. And I'll put down in the description where I got this mold I'm sure Amazon because this okay that's gotta go Amazon because that's where I get most of my stuff well yeah all my stuff actually oh get this head out Head's the worst part come on baby come on over there oh Lord. oh yeah look at that oh oh my goodness Look at the little teddy bear. Oh, wow. Too cute. And then, uh, what came with this mold was just the tray, I think, and the antlers. I'll look it up, though, before I post the video and uh, tell you where I got everything. And then uh, it came with a little cloud. So I did a little cloud. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can assemble this thing. See what we got. I love this tray. Oh geez, here comes the test. I think it goes like that. Oh God. Oh wow. Oh God, no, that goes on that side. This goes on this side. Look! I am excited about it! Hang your rings, your necklaces, whatever, and then you got three trays. Is that not the cutest mold you've ever seen? So I'm going to put it right here so y'all can see. And I'm going to just set the teddy, I think, right here in this corner. And then just put the cloud. I'm going to probably just glue it. Like right here in between the antlers. What do y'all think? Oh my goodness! It's 
the cutest ever. Wow. All I gotta do is a little trimming and that's it. And I got some liquid glass the other day and I'm trying it out because it's a two to one and I've never worked with a two to one so I just mix me up some and put in here. Just um, put dusted some mica powder in the bottom. Gonna see how that works. There is literally no bubbles in this liquid glass. It's like, wow. So yeah, that's it, guys. Oh, it came out so cute. I may make a, a cup holder maybe and put it right here. I don't know, not sure. But anyway, there it is. Cutie, cutie, cute. Huh. Loving that pink camouflage. Alright, so if y'all liked what you seen, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share my video. And I do appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. And um, my next video, I believe, is going to be um, how to prepare artificial flowers and resin. Um, I've got a lot of requests to do another video on that. So I'm going to do another one. Ah! So uh, if you want me to just prepare the flowers, show you how to prepare the flowers for resin, then um, that's what I'll do, whatever y'all want me to do. Or if you want uh, me to prepare the flowers and put it in resin, I'll do that too. Just let me know. Comment down below, please. Thank y'all for watching. And to my 86 subscribers, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. And when I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away either a painting, jewelry, a craft, or a resin piece. I'm going to take the comments, whoever's commented on my videos. I'm going to take their name, put it in a pot, go live, and draw. And I will ship y'all a piece, a free piece, of your choice. I'll just put some pieces on here, and whoever wins can pick what they want. How about that? All right, guys, y'all have a blessed day. And um, I'll see you soon.